Question, is it best to drink hydrogen water on a full or empty stomach? What's up, my issue family? I'm excited to go ahead and dive into this question. I really appreciate you voting on this month's Q&A poll. Uh, I guess this question probably could have been stated a little better. Uh, obviously, um, most people probably don't like to drink water on a full stomach. Uh, but I do believe that it is a question that people have asked and I do want to provide an answer. Uh, I do think the literature uh, can give us a better idea of what are the what is the best time to consume hydrogen water, whether that is while you're eating. Uh, that might have been a better way to say it uh, instead of on a full stomach or while you're eating or whether on an empty stomach. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into uh, the answer of the question. All right. So first, I believe to answer the question, I think we should look at the characteristics of hydrogen rich water. I think understanding the characteristics of, of hydrogen rich water will give us a better idea of what might be best, whether it's consuming on an empty stomach or consuming it uh, while you're eating. Hydrogen rich water has some pretty standout characteristics. And so I think uh, discussing some of those will help us understand this a little better. First, hydrogen is rather fragile when dissolved into water. Um, it is a nonpolar molecule, so basically it's neutral, so it doesn't like to be dissolved into water. Uh, and because of that reason, it also has a fast rate of evaporation or dissolution out of water. And so any kind of agitation with the hydrogen or with hydrogen water can lead to a massive decrease in its concentration in the water. And so Considering just these particular properties that we've talked around or characteristics, I should say, of hydrogen rich water um, already lends its hand to probably what is a better time. And so I'm going to come out the gate and just tell you that the research suggests that it's better to um, consume hydrogen rich water on an empty stomach. That is mostly due to the fact that the properties we have already discussed. The gastrointestinal tract or the stomach is a pretty harsh environment and so is the intestines. And so it can have quite a bit of agitation and when it comes on to digestion and things of that nature. And the object with hydrogen water is for the water to serve as a vehicle for hydrogen to get into your circulation or to your blood. Um, and the less agitation um, means the less hydrogen gas is actually going to escape, which means the actual better consistent dose that you're going to get. So as you see with this study, they're referencing the same things that I'm discussing that the stomach and intestines is a place that hydrogen gas can be lost when it comes to hydrogen rich water. And for this fact, it can actually make it quite difficult to control the concentration or absorption of the actual dose of hydrogen. And so we actually mentioned this in our hydrogen water versus hydrogen inhalation video where we talk about uh, what is um, a method that maybe can provide like the best method for hydrogen to get into your body uh, and hydrogen inhalation uh, took the took the win on that one so to speak uh, because uh, for this reason that hydrogen can get lost in the gastrointestinal tract or be be escaped from the water um, and it can be harder for the researchers to control the dose that's actually getting into the blood and so uh, this is further elaborated on in these studies check this out in this study, they had the participants consume hydrogen rich water in the morning on an empty stomach. All right. So in this study, you can actually see that the protocol that they had the participants doing had them consuming hydrogen rich water an hour before breakfast, an hour before lunch, two hours after lunch. And then they had them drink an hour before dinner or supper and about 30 minutes before they actually went to bed. And so every single instance, they had them trying to consume hydrogen rich water on an empty stomach. Uh, this will do a better job of ensuring the dose of hydrogen uh, to the actual body. Next study. Lastly, I wanted to show you another source demonstrating how researchers uh, develop these protocols around the concept or the idea that we're talking about, whether it's hydrogen um, being consumed on an empty stomach or hydrogen leaving water or evaporating quickly. Uh, in this particular source, you actually see that the researchers gave the participants a time frame in which they had to consume the hydrogen rich water. Uh, these participants only had an hour uh, once they opened uh, the bottle um, uh, of hydrogen rich water to consume that water. And obviously this is uh, encouraging to drink the water uh, rap uh, quickly, uh, rapidly 
consume hydrogen rich water because the gas will escape. And so this is another angle as to how these researchers are dealing with this. And so I think in light of the sources that I've just showed you and this source, uh, we can go ahead and fully address and answer this question. Okay, so let's go ahead and summarize. Based on the research, it appears that drinking hydrogen rich water on an empty stomach is a better option than drinking it while eating or while on a full stomach. Uh, this is due to um, a few different aspects dealing with the properties of hydrogen rich water and ensuring that people are going to receive um, an adequate dose to induce therapeutic effects. And so we actually walked through the data and showed you that um, there are research studies that have hydrogen, have, have participants consuming hydrogen rich, rich water on an empty stomach. Uh, there's also research studies having them consume hydrogen rich water um, an hour before meals. Um, I actually have another source um, um, I, I won't have for this video, but there's another source that actually has them consuming it 30 minutes before meal. Uh, and then there's also uh, literature out there giving participants a set time frame uh, to consume the hydrogen rich water rapidly. Uh, and this is all due to uh, the properties of hydrogen rich water. Um, one, hydrogen is fragile uh, when dissolved into water, uh, meaning that uh, any agitation can lead to more hydrogen gas escaping more rapidly from the water. Um, this is due to the fact that hydrogen is a nonpolar molecule, so it doesn't dissolve into water let's say similar to things like sugar or salt, uh, which is actually going to dissolve a lot better into water. So um, this just leads to hydrogen escaping really rapidly. Um, and number three would be that uh, be your intestinal tract itself or your stomach uh, is a harsh environment and has agitation. And so if you're going to consume hydrogen rich water while you're eating, uh, the likelihood is you're going to lose quite a bit of that gas and you won't be able to control the dose or how much you're actually going to be receiving. So let's say, for instance, uh, you drink 500 milliliters of, uh, of hydrogen rich water at a concentration of 1 ppm. And uh, that means you got about a half a milligram of hydrogen dissolved into that water. The object is to get as much of that half a milligram into your blood as possible. So you need to find the best way to do that. And the best way to do that would be to uh, to actually consume it on an empty stomach. That way you can maintain the highest dose possible. So that's my answer to your question. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please continue to vote on these uh, Q&A polls. Uh, we will have another one next month. Um, I really appreciate all of uh, the love uh, that we get on these videos. Um, if you like the content and like what we're doing, please like and subscribe to the channel. And you can always follow us on all of our social media platforms. If you really, really enjoy it, you can also donate. We'll, like, we, we will have a donation link at the, um, um, at the bottom of the screen or in, in the description of this video. Um, and if you really like us as well, you can also support us monthly through Patreon. Uh, other than that, I'll be here to answer your question uh, next month. Deuces.